Congress returns to Washington this week after a two week break and already so many eyes on 2024. Democrats officially announcing Chicago will host the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Senator Tammy Baldwin making her reelection bid official and on Capitol Hill debate igniting again over TikTok. Front and center Democratic Congressman Mark Pocan who joins us from Madison. Congressman like always good to see you. Good to see you Matt. Thank you. So the DNC announcing this past week that Chicago is going to hold the Democratic Convention in 2024. Do you want President Biden to run for re-election? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, I've been just had six town halls in six counties this week uh, across the district, and we got talking about all that we did last session uh, under the Biden administration. First time uh, four presidents have talked about infrastructure bills. Joe Biden got it done. Uh, we passed a bill to help reduce inflation for energy and health care costs. Uh, we passed a bill to make more things like computer chips here in the country, and we passed bills to help us get out of COVID. Uh, it, it's been a lot of productivity under Joe Biden, and uh, I think he's going to continue that when he's reelected. Is he up for a reelection campaign? I think so. Uh, you know, um, this is uh, a campaign that could turn out to be a little deja vu uh, if Donald Trump is a nominee. Uh, I think, you know, that might be a little bit interesting, but bottom line is, you know, I've had an opportunity to work with Joe Biden and, you know, I didn't support him in the primaries when he first ran. Uh, I've been extremely impressed with how he's governed. Uh, he's absolutely up to the job and he's gotten more done than I can think of uh, any president recently having uh, gotten done. So I think he's absolutely up to do the job. Senator Baldwin also making her reelection bid official this past week. What do you see as her biggest challenge in the next year in winning statewide? You know, Tammy's had a, a pretty magical uh, presence in Wisconsin, you know, at a time when other people won by one point uh, in the state. She won by 11 points last time. Well, it's because she understands Wisconsin. She gets around the state. She's fighting for every corner of the state for jobs, making things in America. Um, so I think she's got a lot to run on, a lot of strength. She's done a lot of things in the Senate, way more than most senators that I watch. I think the biggest challenge is just where is the, the mood of the electorate? You know, is the economy still as strong? Uh, in in yeah, is there uh, inflation still happening? Uh, does a recession kick in with interest rate rises by the Fed Reserve? I think those are the kind of uncontrollables that you can't really uh, exactly calculate. But given her job performance, I think she's in an extremely strong place to be reelected. Recently, the DCCC, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, announced its districts in play for 2024, including two here in Wisconsin. The first, Congressman Brian Stile, and the third, Derek Van Orden. Here's what Congressman Stile told us this past week about his upcoming re-election bid. I'm planning to, to run again for re-election in 2024. Uh, this same group of national Democrats targeted my race uh, last cycle as well. Um, I'm out talking to folks actually trying to do the work uh, that I've been elected to do. I'll be back uh, next fall uh, to share with people my vision uh, as we move forward. Congressman, from your perspective, is, is this too little too late from the DCCC? I know you were highly critical last year in terms of the national investment in Wisconsin. Yeah, so, you know, Brian's a nice guy. I just need him to stand up for the district and not for his party. He's got to put uh, his constituents first. And, you know, that I think is true of a, a lot of members of Congress. Last time there was no investment from the National Democratic Party in Wisconsin. And I spoke critically, as you said, publicly about that. So I, I, he's not correct in that. But this time there will be focus because if people aren't voting uh, like the interest of their district, uh, that's a good way to not get reelected, especially uh, in a presidential election style. So I think the first district and the third district in Wisconsin are absolutely going to be competitive. And that's why the DCCC is getting involved. Did you play a role in that? What conversations have you had with them behind the scenes? A lot. <laughs> um, you know, I, I clearly vocalized uh, what I did in state in Washington last year uh, when there wasn't a focus on Wisconsin. Congress is back this week in Washington after a two week break. TikTok taking up still a, a lot of oxygen and a lot of conversation. You've become one of a handful of lawmakers publicly and strongly opposing a ban on the app. Why is that? Well, I want us to focus on the problem. The problem that exists is across many social media platforms, uh, the privacy of our data, uh, right? We're getting disinformation pushed to us. Uh, they sell our data and, and our privacy really doesn't exist. And we should deal with that issue on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. But we don't want to take on, you know, some of the, the United States uh, based corporations because they have a bunch of lobbyists in Washington and some of them happen to give a lot of contributions to people in both parties. That's not an acceptable answer to simply ban one platform that 150 million people in the country are on 
and instead uh, miss the issue. So I'm trying to keep us focused. Uh, let's really protect all people across all platforms. Uh, I think it's a pretty simple message, uh, but you have to stand up to some lobbyists in Washington to do that. And I think that's why the f there's fewer voices than I would prefer on this issue. Is there an appetite to take on U.S.-based companies? There should be. I mean, with what they're doing with our data right now, we have not given permission as individuals. Uh, there are real privacy concerns, and it should be a bipartisan issue to protect consumers. The problem is because of all the lobbyists in Washington, it becomes a BUY partisan issue, and that's why we're not seeing enough resistance to what's going on. Congressman Mark Polkan, Congressman, like always, we appreciate your time. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Up next, the Republicans, who's weighing a potential bid to take on Senator Baldwin. J.R. Ross with his new reporting next.